Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We're back on Yukon River Valley here, again looking at some more of the factories. And today we are going to have a look at the pallet factory and also the paper mill. So obviously paper comes from wood, so we are first and foremost at one of the sawmills. And as you remember probably from the sawmill episode, the long wood is required for making pallets. So we've got some loaded up here. We're in the sawmill in the bottom left corner of the map and we have got a fair old drive to get ourselves over to the paper mill and the pallet factory which sit by the river over here so um we will jump in the ford and we will drag ourselves over now what i will say actually before i leave here if you're loading up your um your long wood it is heavy it is very heavy so a big wheel loader is required um a little skid steer or a, a forklift truck do not work. Trust me. Look, the forklift's over there. I tried it. Okay, um, we're going to head off and we will see you at the pallet factory. Okay, here we are. A good five minutes of solid driving at 60 miles an hour to get ourselves here. That shows you how big this map is. Now, here we are at the pallet factory. Now what I would say um, is we have got a loader there, but actually I might just try and drive on here and see what happens. I'm doing a bit of a live test. Pallet Factory is an easy one, purely because it has only one input, and that is Longwood. So our little test didn't work, um, so what we're doing now... We're coming back and we're going to drop them off manually and see what happens. There we go, first one in. So you do need to put it on a loader. And it's changed the way it looks slightly, but what you have got there is the inputs going now into the pallet factory. So we'll unload the rest of these. So there we go, last one loaded up. Literally as easy as this for pallets. You drop off the long wood and then you wait. So we'll jump out here. The pallets will appear here. They'll start counting up in a little. You've, we've got to skip forward time a little bit. And there's the volume of long wood that we have put in. It was 40,000 in total, so they've obviously taken a thousand already to start manufacturing stuff. So with that in mind, we shall skip forward time just a little while and uh, we will see the results. If you want to see what's happening, you can stand here and it will give you the details. So let's skip forward. So there you go. We have skipped forward quite a long time there, but we have now 21,000 litres of pallets. So if I come down here, it says 21,000 litres of pallets, but where are they? Well, to do that, you need to go into Global Companies menu you need to scroll down to pallet production. Uh, and again, I've said this before, but I'll reiterate it again. You must own the land to be able to operate the factory. So you've got to have the land that the factories sit on to be able to operate the factories. Uh, and you'll go into your pallets here. Um, there's your outputs. So it tells you there's 2% in there. So what you can do now is hit maximum or add uh, if you want to go up a little bit. If you go maximum, it will spawn everything that's been completed. Hit the space bar. Then we go back, and then we go back again, and there you go. There's your two pallets. Two pallets of pallets. So, there you go. A very quick overview of the pallet factory. Probably, I would say, the easiest one in the whole map. But a very handy one, because you need those pallets for quite a few different things. So, with that in mind, let's jump straight into the paper mill. Now, the paper mill, very handily, is right next to the pallet factory. And you have uh, different inputs. Here is where you input your logs. As you can see, it just crushes them up there. So you've got logs. Um, here is where you dump your coal. So interestingly, the coal goes under the ground here, not in this bunker. I don't know what that bunker's for, but um, we've not discovered yet. Maybe just a place to store logs when the chipper's full. You've got to add water as well, which is here. And the last input of four inputs is pallets. And what you will get out of the other side is cardboard. 
cartons and paper. So three outputs. So just looking at the global companies menu here, um, when you're in the paper mill, I have should have pointed this out before, where you've got multiple production points, you can choose which ones you produce. So if all you wanted to produce here was paper, you could do that. Uh, and what you would do is you'd go into carton production. It's on auto start. You would turn auto off so it wouldn't produce cartons. And if you click to one of the other products, it still is on. So it would only produce paper and cardboard now. So again, if we turn cardboard off, there you go. Cardboard and cartons will not be produced and everything will go into paper production. Now, for the purposes of this vid, we are going to make sure everything's turned on so you can see what the outputs look like. But just so you know, um, you can, you don't have to always produce all three or four or however many outputs there are from uh, from a factory. You can select which ones you want. So with that in mind, uh, we're just going to do a little bit of a run around now, load up all the inputs, and uh, we will be back very shortly. So we'll see you in a minute. So there we go, you saw the pallets going in there uh, into this place here and uh, we have now water in here as well. You saw us unload quite a healthy amount of coal, 45,000 litres, and we've got a good amount of wood in here as well. So um, it's just a case now of speeding up time for a bit and seeing how long before we get some outputs. As with all the factories you've got these very handy digital readouts as well that support you. So. Um, there you go, you can see it just click up from zero there, so things are happening. We'll speed up for a little bit, and then we will come back and uh, show you the results. So there you go, that was about four hours in-game, and if we come around here, we have nothing, just like we had the issue with the pallet factory. So what we need to do now, again, jump back into the global company menu, click on paper mill, open, and what we will do in cartons, We'll do the maximum spawn one pallet paper production click on paper maximum spawn one pallet and cardboard production click on it again maximum spawn one pallet so you can see what this stuff looks like so there you go cardboard one pallet 5000 liters on a pallet come around to here you have cartons which look identical uh, again 5000 liters and if you come over to here a lovely roll of paper all on pallets so they're easy to move about and those can be taken to various sell points around the map and gotten rid of for pretty good money. And if we jump in here, actually, you can see uh, at pallet sales uh, and the three main ports, you're looking at per thousand litres, $2,200, $1,600, $3,488 uh, for cardboard. So that's pretty lucrative. Similar prices for paper. It is a lot more. Royal Port Sales is the place to sell stuff on this map, I tell you what. And then cardboard as well here, um, 2,000 pounds per thousand liters. And again, if you can't even be bothered with that, you can actually sell the pallets um, for some pretty decent money as well. So there you go. Um, that was a very quick overview of the paper mill and also the pallet factory. So a couple more of the factories on Yukon River Valley covered off. Uh, I think we've only got a couple more to do. So um, at that juncture, I'll just say thank you very, very much for watching. It is much appreciated. And I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.